We're now going to move into, I guess, new territory for you, I think, in something that we call linear modelling. So that's where we look at an aspect of the real world. We look at an aspect of the real world and we apply what we understand in mathematics to create an equation to predict the behaviour of that thing. So linear modelling. And the linear, as you can tell just from the word, refers to a straight line. So this is where we're dealing with straight lines. Lots of times when we model the real world, we don't find things that necessarily behave according to a straight line, but we're going to look just for our purposes at ones that do. You've already, you're already familiar with the general form of a linear equation, which is y equals, um, but here it's y equals a plus bx, but we've been looking at y equals mx plus b. You can see it's the same equation, just reverse. The next bit of new knowledge you need, and this is terminology, is the concept of a dependent variable and an independent variable. And I think that's usually pretty easy to see when we express our equations as y equals something x plus something. When we've got an equation expressed in that form, it's saying that really you're going to plug in a value for x and it's going to deliver you a value for y. So in that sense, the value of y depends on the value of x. So the <coughs> y value is, is sorry, dependent. It's dependent because it depends on whatever x is. And x here is the independent variable. Okay, that's going to become important when we move away from x's and y's. Because when we get into this linear modelling, we no longer use x's and y's. We start using other pronumerals to represent what we're looking for. So it's giving you an example there is a capital C might be used for cost. It's still a pronumeral. It behaves the same way as an X and Y, but it's in the equation to make it make more sense. So you might do a C for cost or a D there for distance traveled <coughs> or whatever it is we're looking at. It might have different names for the pronumerals, but at the end of the day, they behave the same way as the X and Y, so don't be freaked out by them. All right, Nate, can you stop for me?